You're listening to Tim Bulkley's 5-Minute Bible, Mark's Gospel. Mark, with just 15 chapters, is the shortest of the canonical Gospels. It takes a bit over an hour to read aloud, and clearly being read aloud was its intended use. So a really good way to begin to get to know Mark's Gospel is to listen to it being read aloud. The Gospel is introduced as the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. This language has rather different connotations for different people at that time. Christ was Jewish language for king, especially for the Jewish expected saviour king. Son of God, by contrast, was the title that Augustus used early in his career as the adopted son of Julius Caesar, whose divinity had been proclaimed by the Roman Senate in 42 BC. So these two titles stood in powerful tension. The Roman cult was most offensive to Jews, but messianic movements were dangerous sedition against Roman rule, and Mark slaps them together, bangs them against each other, in the heading of his book. Mark's is a brief story of Jesus. Mark is strikingly brief in the telling, as well as telling fewer episodes than the other Gospels. He begins with John the Baptizer preparing the way, and there too the way he tells the story is striking and contentious, because he begins explaining this preparation with reference to Isaiah chapter 40 verse 3, all about preparing the way for the Lord, Yahweh, through the desert. All through this opening, baptism dominates, with reference to Jesus baptizing with the Holy Spirit, with the voice from heaven recognizing Jesus at his baptism by John. Mark's Gospel begins with baptism. Another feature of Mark's account of Jesus' life is the keeping of Jesus' identity a secret. Mark makes this a significant feature of the way he presents Jesus' teaching. And yet that identity is proclaimed both by others and is demonstrated by Jesus' miracles. Another tension. This is a gospel full of tensions. Jesus' identity is also the focus of a dramatic turning point in chapter 8 verses 27 and following. And from this point on Jesus speaks more openly about his coming passion, death and resurrection. Nearly half the book concerns Jesus' last days in Jerusalem, his trial, his death, and very briefly, remember this is Mark, his resurrection. The mounting conflict leads to his trials and his execution as King of the Jews. The ending of Mark's Gospel is also somewhat contentious with several candidates available in the early manuscript copies. The most likely ending seems to be the one which cut short after the discovery of the empty tomb and the angelic announcement of Jesus rising to new life. With a tense suspense, they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. Genesis chapter 1 is about the singular Elohim, who is the subject of the verbs all through the chapter. Mark is similarly about Jesus who is the subject of a great many of the verbs throughout the Gospel. Mark and the other Biblical Gospels is by no means a biography. It misses so many significant elements of biography. Yet it's about a person. In this respect it seems to me the genre of Gospel is rather like the genre of the prophetic books. Like them it's less a coherent story anecdotal, as it is episodic with discrete elements thrown together, but focused in particular on the teaching of the named teacher, the prophet or Jesus. Although Mark's relationship to Matthew and Luke is evident in the shared material and the ordering of the story, the relationship among these synoptic gospels as we call them, and the relationship between them and John, is hugely debated. There is nowadays fairly wide agreement that Mark was the first gospel to be written, and that Mark probably did not know the others, despite the fact that centuries ago Augustine and others for a long time argued that Mark was an abbreviation of Matthew. So Mark is the forerunner of the gospel genre. It also seems clear that teaching about Jesus circulated in the churches with episodes and collections of sayings, which Mark has retold and adapted. But retold and adapted 
in a way which is concerned to root these episodes in the wider story of the crucified Jesus, the Son of God, the Messiah, which brings us back to the beginning of the Gospel. God bless.